So I've been getting some questions on my Arduino OBD2 um, thing that I linked to my car uh, about a year or two back and I thought I'd make a video to explain a couple of things on how it works and how you can make one at home. So I started out with a prototype on a breadboard um, and eventually evolved to this. I'm basically it's just a custom shield made on some, uh, some strip board uh, which fits to an Ar Arduino Uno Rev3 and it has uh, the LCD mounted on it and the power would connect here and then the OBD2 TRX, uh, TX and RX lines would connect here and I made this little switch so I could cycle through different modes on the display. Now since this really wasn't that handy and I also wanted a clock on it and some data logging and a couple of other things I migrated from this and you'll have to excuse the camera work on this because I don't have a proper camera yet so I'm trying to film this on my phone using one hand I, um, I ditched uh, the single Arduino and went to this this contains um, an Arduino Nano to communicate with the uh, HC06 Bluetooth module which would be mounted here and it has an SD card reader, uh, a real-time clock and a SPI2 uh, LCD display uh, decoder thing I guess so the LCD would fit there and then the Arduino Uno would fit here and those two are connected via an uh, SPI protocol and uh, they communicate. This one basically reads all the information from the car using the HD06 and uh, that would connect to the OBD2 uh, ELM327 uh, adapter via Bluetooth which is uh, hard coded into the memory of the Bluetooth module and then it sends this data over SPI to the Arduino Uno which in turn logs it uh, on the SD card and it also gets uh, sent to the um, serial to uh, LCD decoder chip and it reads the time using the real-time clock but since this is a pretty bulky thing to have in your car and I really couldn't mount it anywhere um, I decided to stop working on it and think about it for a bit on how to do this properly or at least better so I ditched this and in the meanwhile I lost all source code for uh, that thing so I had to start over again and then I used this which is basically um, an Arduino Mega with an LCD module on it well it's not actually an Arduino but it's Chinese clone and it has the HC06 uh, Bluetooth module taped onto it on the back. So this is actually way way better because it has a graphic LCD, I can draw um, graphs on it and it has more space, I can control the fonts, the colors, etc. Uh, etc. Et um, but also the Arduino Mega has way way more processing power so I don't have to use two Arduinos anymore which I really didn't want to anyway, but I had no choice. So next up I'll show you some things on uh, how I uh, develop this, how I m make this work with the car and how I test it because I live on the second floor and I really don't want to go up and down all those stairs all the time. So let's switch over to the computer. Okay, so here we are and this is my uh, C-Sharp development environment, uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2013. And this is where I wrote a simple and very, very crude uh, ELM327 uh, emulator. And as you can see, it has been decompiled because I lost the sources. So please uh, don't comment on oh you can do this way better and this is not the way to do it I know uh, it's just because I needed it and I didn't want it to be pretty I just wanted it to work so this little program here when I start it up it just allows me to select uh, a serial port and a baud rate and I should probably default it to 
um, to this value because this is what the ELM327 uh, uses by default and it allows me to connect uh, and close the port and to adjust the RPM the engine coolant uh, temperature sensor value and the speed sensor value and it actually sends all of these things like uh, an ELM327 would uh, this one isn't really working though and it prints out a log on what is received and what is sent here it does require me to make some changes to the Arduino code because the Arduino Mega uses uh, two serial interfaces it uses the, um, the default serial interface which is connected to the USB um, to write debugging information when the debug flag is enabled and it uses the second serial interface to communicate with the, uh, Ar uh, with the ELM327 via Bluetooth so this is what I use to test it and to, to check if values are getting through and if it can talk to the car it's not perfect though because the car actually sends or the ELM327 actually sends back uh, responses with spaces in them and I try to kind of emulate that um, by putting some spaces in the responses um, but it didn't really work that well and I still couldn't get my uh, OBD2 library for the Arduino uh, which I'll put a link to in the video description uh, to talk to the car properly so I modified the library and it, it's a really simple modification it's, uh, it's on my GitHub page as I said I'll put a link to it in the video description but uh, basically I just modified it so it can handle spaces in responses from the ELM327 um, also I made some changes to the um, code of the library to change the init string it's also not really that well done I mean I, I really want to just be able to plug in more commands not in the library itself but through a setup function or something uh, in the, the, the code for the, uh, um, for the chip computer <coughs> but I haven't gotten around to doing that it's just more or less the debugging stage and trying to get things to work and seeing how everything reacts so it's just a bit hacked together so this is the uh, the Arduino code which uh, I'll also uh, put on my getup and put a link in the video description um, and basically it's just it, it defines some pin modes opens up a serial communication port initializes the TFT and then all the way down here it tries to open up an, uh, an OBD2 connection and um, when the connection is well starting up we, we can check its status through um, the library itself we can actually re um, the init requests or um, I should say that the init function tries to initialize uh, using the protocol given or it uses uh, automatic search which is embedded in the ELM327 adapter and it returns its status which is just a boolean flag and it tries to connect again and again and again and again uh, and when it um, oh, I should probably change this to a constant when it senses that the Bluetooth connection has failed it just goes back to the top of the function and starts over again initializes the Bluetooth and waits for Bluetooth to become ready and as soon as this finishes it requests the protocol uh, which is this command here the, uh, the ELM327 works using AT commands um, you can find all of this in the datasheet for it um, I'm I probably won't put a link to this in the description but uh, I'll link to my website and on the, the project page uh, for this particular project you'll find links to datasheet and stuff for the ELM327 so when the connection is initialized the Arduino enters its loops, loop function and it starts reading the RPM, the coolant temperature, the speed but the thing I'm really interested in is the consumption because I originally started this project because my car doesn't have trip computer because it's way too old and since it's a diesel vehicle which doesn't have a, a fuel flow sensor we have to calculate it 
So I'm using the uh, MEF sensor and the engine load, which is calculated by the ECU, to do some calculations, and I'll, I'll link to the PDF which I mentioned here, um, do some calculations to find the fuel flow in liters per hour. And if we divide that by the speed, and do that times 100, we know how many liters per 100 kilometers we're using. Because, for example, we're using um, six liters, oh, excuse me, liters per hour, and we're doing 100 kilometers an hour. I should really be more consistent on my capitalization. Um, if we're using uh, six liters uh, an hour and we're doing 100 kilometers an hour, if we divide those two numbers, we can strip away the hours. So we're doing six liters per 100 kilometers or per, per kilometer. And we do that times 100. So we get 6.0 liters per 100 kilometers. So that's how that's calculated. And we can easily change that any way we want to. And then it just does some calculations on where to draw it on the, um, on the LCD. And it calculates an average, which is done over here. And it's, again, it's very crude, but it's just prototyping and trying to get things to work properly. And it's, I'm not even sure if this calculation is right. I mean, it's an estimation and engine load is already an estimation made by the ECU. So I really don't know if this is correct or not, but I'm just trying to, well, start measuring stuff and see if I'm getting anywhere close near the actual consumption, which I calculate every time I uh, go to the gas station. So I also plot some things on a graph, which is on a, in a couple of simple libraries I wrote, which is again very crude, but I'll anyway, I'll put links to it uh, in the description and on my website on the projects page. So you, can, you guys can check this out on GitHub. Now, the only hardware you actually need for this project is an Arduino and uh, HCO6 uh, Bluetooth master module, because the ELM327 um, wants to connect to a Bluetooth master, like your phone or a laptop or whatever. And the HCO5, which is a really popular Bluetooth module, doesn't support master mode. So we're using HCO6. And I actually don't do any programming in the Arduino code. I just program the HCO6 to connect uh, to the OBD2 adapter from my computer using a USB to TTL converter. And it saves it in firmware, so it doesn't get lost or anything when it's powered down, only for real long periods of time, like about half a year or something, it loses it. Uh, and I just assume everything works right, because I use this gizmo almost every day. Um, so you need an Arduino, an HCO6 Bluetooth master module, which you have to program to connect to your ELM327. You'll also obviously need an ELM327 Bluetooth adapter for your car. And if you want to, an SD card uh, adapter or an LCD or whatever you want to use to log or show the data. It's really not that complicated and uses basic hardware and available software, which is just out there. I'll put links to everything to, that I've used um, in my blog, and I'll put links to a couple of things in the video description. And I hope this answers a couple of questions I've been getting lately. So I'll keep everyone posted, and I'm really trying to be more active on this project and some other projects I'm doing, and trying to make videos of it as I go along through the debugging and prototyping process. And hopefully we'll end with a nice OBD2 trip computer. So if you like this video and have maybe watched my other videos, subscribe and I'll keep everybody updated. See ya!